It's hard work being a beast But you wanna transition into something that's elite uh, Just to quiet the crowd, put them all in their seats All right, so we got two kids here from Singapore, okay? They're transitioning from Singapore to the U.S. for basketball, okay? Only for basketball. One of them is in seventh grade and one of them in ninth grade, okay? These kids, worth ethic, it's just out of the roof. It's ridiculous. I mean, they train four to five hours a day. I mean, the kids are just machines, absolute machines. And they're playing right now. I haven't had my camera all week, so I haven't been able to get the footage, but I'm just going to get a snippet of what they're doing on the court right now and then also interview them so you guys can, can just see and, and feel their energy because these dudes are off the chain. They're on another level right here. Check this out. There's Anthony. Bucket. There's one of them right there. Ninth grader. Definitely doesn't pass the eye test, but he'll kill you. Don't do the same thing every time. Good. Here's the other one. Seventh grader. Nick. This is not. <laughs> Here's the dad right here. <laughs> oh, good pass. Oh, yeah. Respect the training session. Don't sit like that. They were no. asking if no. you were. Hey, how would you team, mate? Uh. Hmm. So what separates your kids from everybody else? Why are they so disciplined? Why are they so driven? It's the ability to deal with adversity. Mm. The, the more as a parent, the positions where they have to deal with adversity, the more that they actually have that discipline and that focus. Okay. Conversations are more intelligent. Yeah. As a parent, you have to provide that environment. Mm. Good, David. Good, ah. David. Be ready at all times, okay? This was a good session. We challenged you. We pushed you. You got to be ready for the challenge. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Okay? Mentally, you got to push yourself to the extreme. Go hard the whole time, all the time. When you're tired, you still have to be able to think. You still have to be able to pay attention to detail, follow directions. Why do you work so hard? What's your motivation? Like, why just pour out to the people? Like, you're, you're wired differently than a lot of kids. So what, what makes you tick? Well, so I'm Anthony, I'm from Singapore, and uh, well, the, my motivation is is my goal, and my goal is to uh, play Division One college at the University of Pennsylvania, 
And another thing that also makes me tick is the the fact that I'm obviously not as athletic as most Americans, uh, and I I try to try to compensate that with my with my hard work and and some of the stuff that I do. You're too soft, Anthony. Has anybody ever told you that? You know what soft is? What? Yeah. Like Charmin. You're soft like Charmin. You know when you push when you push toilet paper and it's it, it, it soft? That's the way you are. That's the way you play, soft. We call it tissue paper. Tissue or tissue paper. Turn around. Or you ever you ever see the uh the door boy? What do you call it? What's the door boy called? Pillsbury don't be on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they, they they do that in the stomach and they do that. <laughs> Google Pillsbury Doughboy. Go to YouTube go to do YouTube um, Pillsbury Doughboy commercial. Or after we finish, I'll show you what it is. Walk out. There you go. That's better. Oh, That's better. There you go. Head up, keep your head up. Come on. There you go, you gotta see where you're going. This is after the workout. Two hours. After the two hour workout. Silly. I've been training athletes for about seven years now, I would say. And so typically, when we get a kid, we always sit down and have a conversation with him or her and their parent. And one of the questions we ask them is, what area of opportunity that they can grow in, okay? And nine times out of 10, it's always aggressiveness, toughness, confidence, something pertaining to that, okay? Something mental, um, that they want to help develop. Watching that kid, those two kids who are from Singapore, who just got here about a week ago, and who've been training probably, I mean, in the last week, two weeks, I've seen those guys every single day. I mean, they'll do the academy session, individual session. I've seen those guys more than I've seen some, at, in two weeks, and I've seen some athletes in a month. I mean, so, and you heard what the kid said about him not being athletic and how American kids had that up on him and so he's trying to catch up it's that mindset and their dad talks about creating an atmosphere of discipline and everything and pushing your kids out of their comfort zone and so as a parent you want what's best for your kids I mean I'm a parent myself my daughter's five years old I just had a meeting with her teacher earlier today my wife and I and I'm, I'm saying, hey, is she getting pushed? Is she getting challenged? Like, of course, you it's a process and, and things have to run its course and you don't want to get ahead of the plan. But at the end of the day, you don't want to get complacent either. So it's a fine line. You want to make sure your kid is getting challenged and pushed in all areas. Academically, athletically, socially, whatever it is, the list can go on and on. But you have to position your kid to be able to get pushed. You have to put your kid in that position to where huh, they're on the edge. I just had a conversation with another parent who said, coach, what is it gonna take for my kid to start working harder or start taking this more serious or blah, blah, whatever. And I told him, "You gotta, we gotta push this kid to the edge. We gotta push him to the edge to the point to where he wants to quit. And I know that sounds wrong and don't take this the wrong way. But you want to push him to the edge, like the point of no return, the point to where they have to make a decision. Am I going to keep going or am I going to just throw in a towel? Okay, especially when it comes to something extracurricular. Okay, because when it's extracurricular, it's extra. I mean, it's costing you extra money, it's more time. And so you want to make sure that you're, you get a return on your investment. The return is your athlete progressing, your athlete growing and getting better. You know what I mean? That's what we tell our athletes. We say, don't waste your parents' money. OK, you said you want to go to the next level. You have all these high aspirations and your parent is investing in you. They want to see that return and that return is you growing daily.
okay and so our job as coaches and parents as leaders is to push our kids push them okay not belittle them not tear them down but push them challenge them in a way that it forces them to grow hey, that's just my opinion and and i've seen it and I've seen it numerous times. I mean, where these kids get challenged so much, it's like, man, I got to make a decision. And some keep going and some don't. I've had kids that were in our program and left saying, oh, they, they pushed me too hard. They made me work too hard. They'll go to another program that's not holding them accountable and just letting them have a good time. And they start to miss that work. Okay. Then they end up coming back saying, yeah, I tried this. It just, it wasn't enough. Okay, so trust me, that challenge is going to have a positive outcome. We can't be afraid to push our kids. We can't be afraid to challenge them and get them out of their comfort zone. Like I said, yes, we want the best for our families. Yes, we want our kids to be comfortable and happy and all that great stuff. But it's our job to prepare them for their future, okay? prepare them for adulthood. We all know the real world isn't easy. Okay, we know that it's a daily grind and that these kids are going to be faced with challenges on a daily basis. So I think it's important for us to give them a taste of that right now. Okay, give them a taste of that to let them know, hey, this is for real. Okay, if you really want to go to the next level, if you're really serious about this craft, this is what it looks like at that level. Are you sure you want to keep going? And then let them make the decision. Okay, because I know for me, there was two times in my career where I got pushed to that limit. I mean, the first time it was, I don't know how old it was, probably like 10, 10, between 10 and 12 years old. And then my dad, I mean, he used to wear me out. Every night we used to go play basketball in the backyard. This dude would like push me on the ground. And I mean, don't be calling him like CPS or nothing like that. I mean, I'm, I'm good. But he used to like go in on your boy. He used to be fouling me, grabbing me, pushing me, making me earn every basket. I'm out there crying. My mom is beating on the window saying, stop, cut it out. Uh, but and it, it, it just it taught me a lesson. It said, man, he used to say, nobody's going to give you anything. You got to earn whatever you want. Whatever it is you want, you got to earn it. Nobody's going to just hand you stuff. OK. And of course, as a kid, it didn't make sense to me. OK. But as I progress and as I got older, high school, college, professional now and what I'm doing now, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. And I still thank him for this day. I mean, we get together often and then we always end up talking about that. I mean, and it's and I thank him for it because I know that was the foundation that helped me that helped mold me into a tougher person. And the second part was when I was in college, these coaches used to make the team run literally for like two hours straight. I mean, we would have a practice in the morning, a practice at five o'clock a.m. two times a week, just straight running. No ball, nothing. We out there just going, going, going. Two hours straight, okay, two hours straight. And I'm gonna do a video on, on basketball conditioning as well, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, it's just, it's, and it pushed me. I'm just sitting on the line. I'm, I'm just looking like, and I'm thinking to myself, is it worth it? Like, is it the pain that I feel inside? Okay, this fatigue, um, this weakness, is it worth it? Is it worth what I want? Is it really worth it? Me getting up at five o'clock, running for two hours? I mean, is it really worth it? Do I really want a scholarship? Do I really want to play professional? Do I really want that? And then the answer was always yes. I mean, the answer was always uh, absolutely without a shadow of a doubt and I'm thankful that I didn't quit because there was some a lot of guys that did a lot of guys that say you know what man this is not worth it I'm gonna throw in the towel me on the other hand I, I refuse I attribute that to what I went through as a kid and my dad pushing me and challenging me I, I've always reflected back on that point and so yeah so I don't mean to just keep talking but just wanted to share that man because I see these kids those two kids in particular who've only been in the states for two weeks I mean and it's just been this motor machine just pumping focus it, intensity i mean holding other guys accountable communication i mean they're just so disciplined and for them to be so young especially the other one i didn't get a chance to interview him he was he was just worn out but it's just it amazes me because i'm just like wow like these cats literally have left their homeland they're originally from australia okay born in australia but they're raised in singapore to come to dallas texas strictly for basketball, str strictly to see where this thing can take them. 
Okay. And the funny thing about this too, is I was talking to the dad a couple of days ago and I was asking him, I was like, dude, I'm like, they, they love the game. You can tell it's evident. I'm like, were you a basketball player? Or did you play? He's like, man, not at all. He was like, I actually put them in the sport that I thought that they would fail in. You two short white kids playing basketball, surely they'll they'll crash and burn, and then now they can focus on their academics. He said, that was my plan. He was like, but the second I put them in it, they absorbed everything. They soaked it all up, and the more you push them, the more they want it, the more they want to keep grinding to get better. So that's it's amazing, and I, it's, I, I'm just blown away by, by that attitude. Okay, I'm just blown away by that attitude, and... I mean, it's, man, okay, I'm done. I've been talking too much, but peace out, guys. Thanks for everything and much love.